Though I am definitely worried about where we're going to put all of this. I don't that... mind having some sleep mates. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's chicken breast. No, I definitely mind chicken breasts. Those would get a little stinky. Probably stinkier than I will get. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to day minus two before departure. This morning we are doing a massive round of laundry. Our very last laundry run before we go. Hello! Good morning! Guten Morgen! How's it going? Good. I need a little baggie for my laundry. Go ahead. Laundry train. Trying to carry a camera and a bag of laundry at the same time was not a smart idea. Here, <laughs> I am I am I am committed. Okay, so on the program this morning, we need to continue making food. I currently have, I think that it's a piece of ham that I'm trying to slow cook. And it's probably gonna turn a little dry, but oh well, this is all I could find. And then we need to, um, to clean up the mess because... <sighs> do you think we can do it? Of course. I'm We're uh, on track. I'm a, little, I'm a little scared. I know, it does look overwhelming. It, but we can it, do it, we have had coffee. And there is more coffee to be made. <laughs> Okay, it looks like the boat is getting under control. I think that we're really getting there. We are 48 hours to departure and it's time for a... I do not like to uh, get a, a stick up my nose. It is, it is not nice. Yeah. Okay, this is round two uh, provisioning or around three at this point I think yeah I think this is the, the third time that we're at the store we're Annette. getting liquids as you say so we're going to get milk juice water maybe more chocolate milk and then we are going to get some fruits and veggies yay this is our shopping list for right now <laughs> magazines a smiley face it's it's important you're, you're responsible for the list. oh no this is a very yes high high stakes not halfway through the list of stuff that we need to get and uh, the cart is already sort of full and I'm a little bit worried. Oh, That was a lot. Yeah. To all the people watching this video thinking that it looked like I had my shit together, I do not. Uh, I have no idea how we're gonna put all of this on the boat. Uh, this was also way more money than I thought it would end up being. <laughs> The feeling, uh, the feeling in the supermarket at the moment is uh, overwhelmed. Uh, a little bit of anxiety going on. Well, let's go back to the boat and see how we make this work. How hopeful are you? I'm, I'm trying to stay hopeful, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's right. Though I am definitely worried about where we're going to put all of this. I don't that... mind having some sleep mates. <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's chicken breast? No, I definitely mind chicken breasts. Those would get a little stinky. Probably stinkier than I will get. <laughs> well, if there's anything I can get you. So I'll lock this up because I'll be battling some skeeters again tonight. Oh. oh my god, that was so annoying. Oh god. Oh hi! <laughs> it is 9 p.m. Everything is fine. Sort of. Uh, we just gotta clean up the boat. Again, for the 50th time in the last 72 hours. Uh, you know, when it's uh, 9 p.m. and you're tired, you've been working every hour of the day for three days straight. There is nothing like going to look for a Tupperware and it's matching lid 
at the very bottom of an extremely deep cabinet at floor level. tested our e curb which is very easy you just pull this antenna out mm -hmm. you push the test button so we pushed it and it checked out and now you're rewinding and then about five minutes later dutch coast guard sailing vessel polar seal channel seven three and this is the dutch coast guard you hailed me uh captain i received uh this was really from your photo, is that correct? Yeah, we were uh, testing our e -perb and our, well, our e -perb and our MOBs, yes. Okay, so, okay, thank you very much uh, for the information, everything, we received it, uh, and so you know it's working. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, we appreciate that. We're going to be uh, heading offshore on Saturday up to the Azores, so we're just testing our equipment, but I appreciate you guys reaching out and making sure everything's okay. Okay, Captain, have a nice evening. Uh, switch it back to 1-6. Thank you, have a nice evening as well. Pull your seat out. So you're allowed to test the e -perb between the top of the hour and five minutes after the hour. And that's why I did it when I did it. So, yeah. But they were so, so it works. Nice. They were nice and it works. So now we're going to test the MOBs in the life jacket. So this is a device like this. And the idea is that when, it, when you fall overboard, this expands and then it will pull pull the cord and activates the MOB. And that's supposed to send a signal to the VHF, like a DSC signal, and then a, a thing to the chart plotter. So that's what we're gonna test. So we hold, push and hold, release, and then it should flash. It'll start flashing, release, and then it should flash, and then a green. Yay, we passed the first. So Sweet. the second test is we're gonna hear a, so we're gonna press, We'll start flashing, and then after five seconds it becomes steady. Okay. Start flashing, and then it becomes steady. And release, and then we should hear... Cool. So that's what we would hear if I fall overboard. Now I will go cancel that. So that works. So now we'll do a AIS test. So we're gonna hold it gonna flash and then it will stay steady and then it will do something else now I can release it and what it will do is blink between red and green it's trying to find a GPS signal and then pretty soon we should start hearing some stuff coming out of the chart plotter uh oh there we go so if somebody falls over this is what it will look like it and then if we zoom go to vessel so if we zoom in here where the X is is where the the man overboard was so now we know all the MOVs work and we've got Annette's new one in her life jacket programmed so the key is not to fall over but what if one of us do maybe just maybe this would give us a chance to find them in the meantime, I just stacked five kilos of butter in the freezer of our fridge, which is um, surprisingly low of an amount uh, by this boat's standards. This is the stash of butter. I am slightly concerned that we get out of butter. Last night we were testing our e and our man overboard and they worked. And two minutes ago we get, I mean, there is a guy right now, a coast guard on the dock, telling us that he received a man overboard alert. Um, 